Let me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. As we enter a new era, Israelites, it is important that you understand the Holy Spirit. You need to understand the role of the Holy Spirit and how to utilize the helper the Most High gave to his people. You cannot serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth without the Holy Spirit. The pagan church deceived many Israelites and heathens into believing speaking in tongues is required to obtain the Holy Spirit. I am here to tell you that is a lie. The scripture said when the spirit of the most high descend on the people, they begin to speak in different tongues. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. The scriptures did not say that you must speak in tongues to possess the Holy Spirit. Speaking in tongues is an attribute of the Holy Spirit. The apostles and other individuals that gathered in the room on the day of Pentecost were praying when they received the Holy Spirit. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. The inhabitants that dwell in Galilee, when the Holy Spirit came, spoke one language, which was Galilean, according to scripture. Once they received the Holy Spirit, they began to speak in their native tongue. At that time, there were people of different bloodlines living in Galilee. When the people heard their brethren who received the Holy Spirit speaking their native language, they were confused. Many assumed the people were drunk. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? And they were all amazed, and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Religion has confused speaking in tongues, meaning a different language, with the language the disciples of Satan utter in the pagan church to prove they have the Holy Spirit. Sweep over Meridian, Mississippi with anointing of the Holy Ghost. Man. Yeshua did not say that the evidence of speaking in tongues is required to have the Holy Spirit. Yeshua said to his apostles they would receive power when the Holy Spirit come on them. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Before the day of Pentecost, the Most High would send his spirit onto the prophet or individual he wanted to use in a mighty way. In King David's generation, Yah's spirit would descend on an individual when he or she was anointed to do the will of the Most High. When David was chosen, Samuel anointed him with oil and the spirit of the Most High descend upon him. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. The scriptures did not disclose King David speaking in tongues when the Spirit of the Most High descend on him. The scriptures simply said the Spirit of the Most High came upon David from that day forward. Israelites, the Holy Spirit has been here and the Holy Spirit is in you. 
The only thing that separates you from the most high and cause his spirit to depart from you is sin. The scripture said your iniquities separate you from the most high. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Israelites, everything extraordinary or miraculous wonders that has ever happened to you comes from the Most High operating in you via the Holy Spirit. We all know the Most High used King David mightily during his generation. There is a story in the scriptures of David wrestling with lions and bears to save his father's sheep. David was able to subdue the lion and bear with the help of the Spirit of the Most High dwelling in him. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Remember, the scriptures reveal when David was chosen by the Most High and anointed with oil, the Spirit of the Most High was with him from that day forward. It was the Spirit of the Most High that gave David the power to fight the lion and bear. David said to King Saul, It was the Most High that delivered him from the mouths of lions, therefore the Most High would deliver him from the uncircumcised Philistine. David said, moreover, The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. David was aware that his ability to wrestle with the lions and bears stems from the Holy Spirit dwelling in him. Israelites, every good work that you do or any great achievement you ever accomplish comes from the Most High operating through you via his Spirit. This is why the scripture said it is the most high that does the good work in us. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It is the most high operating in me via his spirit established open diary for this generation. It is the most high waking up his people. You cannot have a relationship with the most high and not have his spirit. The Holy Spirit comes with the most high like a two in one. Do not believe the demonic doctrines of the church that makes you feel inadequate because you do not speak in tongues. King David did not speak in tongue and he had the Holy Spirit. An important piece of information I would like to bring to your attention is when Peter helped the people's unbelief during the day of Pentecost. I have quoted this scripture on multiple occasions when the disciples of Satan come to be a stumbling block to me. When the people were confused, Peter said, The scriptures are being fulfilled, that in the last days, Yah would pour out his spirit on all flesh. Both men and women would prophesy. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. But these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. If in Peter's time they believe they are living in the last days, what times are we living in? If the prophecy written in Joel was fulfilled at the day of Pentecost, that would conclude the Most High has poured out his spirit on his people. Both the man and woman are prophesying even unto this generation. Also, this would prove we have his spirit and the evidence of speaking in tongues is not required. Besides, the scriptures reveal your body is a temple that house the spirit of the Most High. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. How can your body serve as a temple that house the spirit of the Most High if you do not possess the Holy Spirit? 
Remember, you are the so-called church, not the altars in every corner that is raised unto idols. The scriptures command us to take care of our bodies because we are one with the Most High. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. We are to honor the Most High with our bodies. You should not do any and everything to your body, because every sin a man does is without the body. When you join yourself with a harlot or a homonger, the sin of fornication is against your own body. Your body is the temple for the Spirit of the Most High. You should take care of the temple of the Most High. The scriptures reveal we should not grieve the Spirit of the Most High. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. You are sealed with the Spirit of the Most High. When you sin, you are grieving the Spirit of the Most High. The doctrines of devils from the pagan church are meant to destroy, not to draw you closer to the Most High. It is important to read for yourself, study with the Spirit of the Most High to gain understanding. Every Israelite have the Spirit of the Most High. However, the Spirit of the Most High would depart from you if you are in sin. King Saul is our example. The scriptures say, Yah's spirit departed from Saul. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Yahshua said, You receive power when the spirit of the Most High descend on you. The story of Samson in the scriptures is another good example of receiving extraordinary powers when the spirit of the Most High is upon you. Whenever the spirit of the Most High descend on Samson, he became extremely strong. Then went Samson down, and his father and his mother, to Timnath, and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon, and slew thirty men of them, and took their spoil and gave change of garments unto them which expounded the riddle. And his anger was kindled, and he went up to his father's house. Israelites, without the Most High in his spirit, you cannot do anything. The Holy Spirit serves for many purposes. The Spirit of the Most High teach, comfort, intercede, pray, and work through you to do the will of the Most High. It is important to get familiar with the Spirit of the Most High and understand how the Most High utilize His Spirit to guide His people, especially at such a time as this. There are many instances in the Scriptures revealing the Spirit of the Most High moving a person to do Yah's will. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew a trumpet, and Abiezer was gathered after him. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead, and Manasseh, and passed over Mizpeh of Gilead. And from Mizpeh of Gilead he passed over unto the children of Ammon. The Most High used his spirit to control whom he chose to do his will. It is important for you to know the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit operates. Yah communicate with you through your spirit. Remember, the real you is your spirit, not the reflection you see in the mirror. Your reflection is flesh. The Most High does not operate in the flesh. The kingdom of darkness operate in the flesh. No one can please the Most High working in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. That is why you must serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The Most High communicate with your spirit via the Holy Spirit living in you. The world refer to the voice of the Most High as intuition. The gentle, quiet voice within is the Spirit of the Most High speaking. Many people ignore and do not trust the inner voice of Yah. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. 
The servants of the Most High know his voice. A stranger's voice they will not follow. Israelites, you cannot serve the Most High and not know his voice. How would you know of his instructions to you if you do not recognize his voice? It is important to differentiate the voice of the Most High from the many voices speaking to you. Yah's voice sounds like your own voice when he speaks via the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the voice of the Most High could sound like the voice of someone you trust. Israelites, when you are thinking, the voice you are hearing in your mind sound like your own voice. Meditate on that for a few minutes. Say hello to yourself in your mind. You heard your own voice, correct? Many people do not trust the voice of the Most High because his voice sound like their own. Israelites, although the Most High's voice sound like yours, it is unique. Yah's voice is a gentle, non-invasive voice. Yah's voice aligns with the laws of the Most High. If your mind is bombarded with garbage, you will not hear the voice of the Most High. Many Israelites miss the voice of the Most High because their mind is preoccupied with the affairs of this world. It is imperative for you to cast down every wicked imaginations. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now that you know you have the Holy Spirit, in addition, you gain power, guidance, and many other great benefits when you utilize the Spirit of the Most High. You need to know another important aspect of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is fire. Fire represents sanctification and judgment. When the Most High appeared to Moses in the form of a burning bush, Yah's presence, his spirit, appeared like fire. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. The scriptures also said the Most High is a consuming fire. Every Israelite and stranger should be engaging in spiritual warfare at this time. It is mandatory. Practicing religion and praying innocent prayers will not work at such a time as this. The kingdom of darkness is waging war and you need the fire of the Most High to destroy every devil that is waging war with you. The Holy Spirit serves for many purposes. You need to know how to call down the fire of the Most High. On the day of Pentecost, when the disciples received the Holy Spirit, the symbol that was used to describe the Holy Spirit was a tongue of fire resting upon everyone in the room. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Israelites, you need to get to know that fire in a battle. That fire will do all the damage you need against any opponent, I guarantee it. The fire of the Most High does not play. When you call down the fire of the Most High, it is meant to destroy. The words of the Most High that you speak is fire on your tongue. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. When the Most High descend on Mount Sinai, the scripture said, Smoke covered the mountain, because the Most High descend on the mountain in fire. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly, and the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. John said, There is one coming whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and fire. John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. If you want victory over your enemies, you need to call down the fire of the Most High to consume your enemies. We need the fire of the Most High to destroy the wicked plans of the workers of iniquity in this generation.
The disciples asked Yahshua if they should call down fire from heaven to destroy those who would not adhere to Yahshua. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elias did? The disciples know the fire of the Most High would destroy the enemy. Israelites, this should not be a foreign language to you, especially if you engage in spiritual warfare. The Holy Spirit is also fire, the tongue of fire, the words of the Most High. Speak it. Many deliverance ministries use the Holy Spirit fire to send unclean foul spirits running. Elijah called down fire from the Most High to destroy the workers of iniquity in his generation. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Israelites, the Most High has given you power over the entire kingdom of darkness and by no means could they hurt you. The same way Elijah called down the fire of the Most High to consume the workers of iniquity, you can call down the fire of the Most High to destroy your enemies in this generation. It is important for you to know the Holy Spirit and all aspects of the Spirit of the Most High. The Holy Spirit will reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. You do not need the heathen's resources to understand the scriptures or to prove the scriptures. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Yah's spirit would reveal truth to you. The spirit of the Most High will give you wisdom. Too many Israelites rely on the beast system and its resources to verify the scriptures. The Holy Spirit should be the one to confirm the matter. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. Israelites, the Holy Spirit will pray and intercede on your behalf. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. The Most High did not leave us helpless. Yah has given us everything that we need to find success in the land of our captivity. The kingdom of darkness wants to disconnect you from the Most High. The beast system promotes the doctrine of having the evidence of speaking in tongues to confirm having the Holy Spirit to keep you captive. By enforcing this doctrine of devil, many Israelites believe it is hard to obtain the Spirit or they are not worthy of receiving the Spirit of the Most High. You already have the Spirit dwelling in you. The Holy Spirit is dormant in many Israelites because many are in sin. Those who are not in sin do not know how to interact with the Holy Spirit. The beast system teaches you to dismiss the Holy Spirit and to rely on what makes you feel good, the flesh. When the Spirit is speaking, many do not understand. It is important to listen. Sit in silence in the presence of the Most High to get familiar with His Spirit. Many of you interact with the Holy Spirit unawares. Most people mistake the works or accomplishments from the Holy Spirit for luck, pride, and self-righteousness. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit is a sin that is unforgivable. Wherefore I say unto you, All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. You are stealing the Most High's glory by not giving credit to the Most High. Remember, Yah is the one doing the work in you. When you are familiar with the Spirit of the Most High, Yah will use His Spirit to guide you in all areas of your life. That is how the Most High order your steps. 
The Most High will reveal to you through his spirit if you should move, marry a person, take a job, quit a job. The Most High will help you sort out affairs as small as what you should wear. Working with the spirit of the Most High is how you serve the Most High in the spirit. Remember, the Most High does nothing according to the flesh. If you want to interact with the Most High, you must interact with his spirit dwelling in you. Yah is a spirit. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, praying is speaking to the Most High. When you are having a conversation with a person or a group, everyone takes turns speaking. It is important to listen to the voice of the Most High. Yah will speak to you via His Holy Spirit. Many people believe their prayers are not heard because they believe the Most High cannot hear them. That is not the case. The Holy Spirit will respond. You must recognize Yah's voice. The Most High's timing is not like ours. Yah will respond on His timing. When you make your petition known, get out of the way and allow the Most High to lead. Yah yearned for a relationship with his people. The Most High want his people to know him. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High reveal his people do not know him. Ear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. If you want to know the Most High, interact with His Holy Spirit. Your help of the Holy Spirit is with you everywhere you go. The Holy Spirit's job is to guide you, reveal truth, and more. Yah's Spirit is not invasive. You have to humble yourself to begin to understand the Spirit of the Most High. Israelites, ask the Most High to activate His fire in your heart. When you become one with the Holy Spirit, you will begin to see your life turn around. Israelites, do not allow the Holy Spirit to live dormant in you. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things.